I'm Abigail Davidson with Sotheby's International Realty, and this is Out and About in Santa Fe. Today I am with celebrity chef Patty Roel. He has a fabulous place in town called Raga Go, and he recently was on the Food Network on a show called Beat Bobby Flay, which you may have heard of, and Patty beat Bobby Flay. I am Patty Rawal and I just beat Bobby Flay. I'd like to know how you prepared for this. I've been preparing for this all my life. I've been cooking for 30 years at least. Uh, I cook in eight different cuisines. I, in my past I did uh, uh, cooking all over the world. Uh, I fed thousands of people every day in different cuisines. So I've been preparing all my life. Uh, uh, but this is a different experience. This is uh, on national TV. This is live shots uh, in the kitchen with a great chef uh, and surrounded by judges who are chefs. So it was a, it would have been nerve wracking for many people, but for me it was just fun. So how many hours were you actually on in the studio? So they picked me up from my uh, hotel room at 9.30 in the morning and I ended up around midnight in the night. Uh, obviously that included my, f my first uh, competition with the first chef before getting to meet Bobby Flay and competing with him. Mm -hmm. But in between there was a break, there was a pre, you know, uh, uh, first competition interview, post interview uh, uh, and obviously uh, uh, then the, the main show uh, which lasted probably around an hour, hour and a half. And it was fun, it was a lot of fun. But again, it was his, it was his kitchen. It was his, uh, like I said, he was the boss there. I had no clue about the kitchen or the equipment or, I, I you know, it was like me walking into the lion's den and trying to outbeat him. <coughs> and uh, fortunately for me, uh, my food and cooking speaks for it. It was great knowing you as I do, are very comfortable under pressure. You're very comfortable in the kitchen. You have no problem cooking very fast. I think everybody on the show was flabbergasted by having you cook rice, uh, you know, in a matter of minutes. Are we gonna get some rice or what? How we'll get some rice. Rice will take like nine minutes, so it's like a lot of time. So. Rice take nine minutes? What? What? Bobby Flay also is very good under pressure. So it must have been interesting having someone of the same level to be able to, and skills to be able to work off of each other. A great observation. Uh, that's the one thing I like about uh, Bobby Flay. He is a master of uh, creativity. He understands uh, color, texture. He loves the uh, spices, which is everything that I, that I do. And, uh, See, cooking is, all, is an art and a science. Uh, cooking is all about understanding uh, the right temperature, the right timing. Uh, and so once you understand those few little things, uh, it's just a matter of coming up with the right recipe on that day to beat Bobby Flay. Uh, he's excellent, uh, but I think I was uh, on a good day, I'm better than him on that day. I can proudly say, I just beat Bobby Flay. <laughs> this one's for you, Santa Fe. Your masala made him holla. That was really, really an amazing feat. And I think all of Santa Fe is very, very proud of you. Yeah, yeah, Raga Go. Raga Go. So online, it's raga2go.com. And the food is beyond, beyond. So this has been another episode of Out and About in Santa Fe. Patty, Roel, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much and we love you Santa Fe.